Y'all, I had got left. <laughs> I got left. Good morning and welcome to day six of Phil and D's Travel Spree aboard the Carnival Mardi Gras. We've got a couple of excursions planned for you today. We're going to ATV Riders. Now, D, don't be mad at me. I know that is your number one favorite excursion, but I'm doing it in remembrance of you, babe. Doing it in remembrance of you. Um, after that, we're going to go to Margaritaville. And look, guys, look who's behind us today. This is the Carnival Freedom that's behind us today. So the only other ship in port with us today, so it shouldn't be too busy. Make sure you guys stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. It's a lot of fun planned today, and it's going to be great. Pulled up to they have more shopping they had some food i know a guy had some jerk chicken and uh you know just give you time to pull over and actually kind of sightsee a little bit and uh experience some of the food some of the culture go in there and buy some souvenirs right there if you would like we are in downtown grand turk they call this downtown so, oh my God, he's so they got another seafood restaurant right here Again, yeah, they're really promoting, you know, their businesses here on the island. So, if you want t-shirts, you want little trinkets, they got little necklaces. If you want some food or anything like that, that's where the restroom is by the red tent, they told us. And, uh, yeah, so I think we'll be here another, like, 10 minutes before we get back on the road. So, you know, you know, I told you I was running a little bit late, right? And so, I was about 10 minutes late. And so, when I got there, well, to the ATVs, I saw two ATVs. So I was like, okay, cool. It's going to be like a little private ATV ride, you know, me and the guide or whatnot. And so I get showed all the instructions. You know, we riding through the city. We looking at the water. We riding through neighborhoods and stuff like that. And so we ended up pulling up in downtown. And so we pulled up. It was some more ATVs. I was like, hmm. He was like, yeah, man. He was like, this is the rest of the tour right here. I'm not even a tour guide. I was like, <laughs> I was like huh? But I would have never been so embarrassed. I'm, I'm so ashamed, y'all. Usually I'm a punctual person. Usually, if you know me, I'm a punctual person. 
and I just feel so shame. I, I got lost. I ain't gonna lie to you. I got lost on the port. I didn't know where to get out. They were talking about look for this gate, so I was looking for the gate. Finally managed to get out of the gate, but oh boy. But um, anyway, I'm reunited with the clan. I guess I'll meet who's ever on my excursion here in a little bit. But um, y'all, I had got left. <laughs> I got left. Hey, but shout out to JNS Adventures. You know, they could have sold my ATV to somebody else, but they didn't. They left one behind for me. You know, I was able to catch up with the group. So, I mean, you know, I can't complain about the service. Thank you so much. Turks and Kankos, and that, that ATV ride was pretty lit. Now, D, don't stay mad at me. I did this with you in mind. You know, I just, I wanted you to see the experience. I wanted to bring you along, so it was like, you can be a part of this, too. <laughs> anyway, she's not gonna believe me anyway. But, y'all, it, it was so much fun, and it, it was crazy that, you know, everybody could stay within like a seven mile radius of each other, and you see, four compartment duplexes and people living on top of each other and real close and then you go to the other side of the island and the houses are way bigger a lot more spread out and, it, and it's just crazy that you, you don't usually see that in the United States or you know metropolitan areas in the United States um, but I will say these folks have donkeys like we have squirrels now like the donkeys are just everywhere just running around anywhere like walking across the street you know, they all in people's yards, just, just all on the side. Anywhere you go, I'm telling you, they, they got donkeys. Now, you, some places you go, the stray dogs are bad, but they, they donkeys are something else. Now it's time to go party at Margaritaville. Hey, it's packed out here. Well, I guess if you plan to have Margaritaville plan, you better get out here early because uh, everybody's in the pool. There's no tables anymore. They do got a good swim up bar though. But uh, yeah, this looks like a big hangout. This kind of almost reminds me of, uh, it kind of almost reminds me of Costa Maya. You know, just one big hangout spot. Everybody in the pool, dancing, drinking, having a good time. So as you're walking through here, they do have like little bungalows that you can rent. It's almost kind of like the uh, actual resort. If you go to, I know the closest one to us would probably be in Conroe, Texas. Um, but yeah, those look real good right about now, especially in this heat. One minute, 15 seconds left. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't want to dine in, I know y'all just saw that line. They do have walk-up bars you can just come up to. 
if you don't want to sit in and dine in. So there's the line again back there that's wrapped all the way around to the entrance. All right, for those of y'all that are big drinkers, here's the drink menu here. I mean, they got pretty much everything you want, margaritas, daiquiris, mixed drinks, premium cocktails. They got even got beer readers. And if you just want something else to sip on, they do have uh, bottomless refills on, uh, on sodas and tea. I just think you have to buy the, uh, the souvenir glass for $5. Nachos. God dog. This is the volcano nachos. I probably would share it. I don't know, man. We only got about three and a half hours to get back on the ship. Let me know how they are. They good? Alright. So before y'all judge me for getting a big old nacho, in my defense. I did not get breakfast this morning. Usually I get a blue iguana in the morning before I get off the ship. Kind of got up a late start. You know, I mean, it is what it is. So I'm going to try to eat as much of it as I can. But I did say I'm going to share it. So, I mean, don't be judging me. I mean, I know I'm kind of big, but I ain't that big. Okay, check this real quick. Besides the chairs being one thing that's real hard to get out here on the beach or, when you, or around the pool area at Margaritaville, the service is hard to get, especially like if you go to some of the walk-up bars or anything like that. I, it took me probably like 20 minutes of standing there before I could, before somebody would even talk to me. Now, I will say that they are definitely understaffed. I mean, the bar that I ordered from, it's around, like people were surrounding like the entire, the entire pavilion and they only have two bartenders in there. I mean, literally, if you count around that entire pavilion, it's gonna be somewhere between 45, 50 people easily. And you know, as soon as one leaves, you know, everybody else is coming in and filling in, and people are standing behind people trying to order. So I mean, other than that, I mean, they are, they are understaffed. So I would will say, if you if you come here, um, definitely definitely kind of be patient um, because I mean, they're honestly just working with what they got. So after you leave this walk-up area, you can actually go down this ramp and you'll be on the beach. Like you get a view of the ship back there in the background. They got all kind of, what, is, I don't know, is that the background or the forefront? But anyways, we on the beach. They got beach chairs and everything kind of lounge around. You know, it's nice. This is, this is actually really nice. There's another bar. You, they got plenty of alcohol. The alcohol is not the issue. The only issue I would say, the only issue I would say is probably finding somewhere to sit down. So uh, once you finally land a spot, if you get here a little bit later, then you should be good. Now, if you do come to this beach, I would say be careful because there are like a lot of rocks kind of on the edge. There are rocks when you first got out in the water there. So, I mean, this isn't the place where I would just kind of you know run out or anything it'll be more kind of you know take your time getting down you know make sure you don't hurt fall hurt yourself scrape yourself or break anything because you can't easily hurt yourself out here and the rocks are so slip slippery so i would have some water shoes if you have some aqua shoes aqua socks whatever you have 
Um, just make sure you have them off because you can easily, easily cut your foot on some of these rocks. All right, guys, I am leaving Margaritaville. Everything was great. Other than them being shorthanded, I mean, everything was great. The party was great. The drinks were great. Um, you know, the beach was great. The pool was great. Um, overall, another good day. So, I know I said I wouldn't go eat all the nachos, but I, I did smash all the nachos. Look, I didn't know I was that hungry again. I didn't eat breakfast as usual. But I'm headed back to the ship now. It's time to get back on. I think we're going to sell away in about the next hour and 15 minutes. But uh been overall a good day here in Turks and Caicos. No complaint. ATV was always fun as usual. Good party, good vibes at Margaritaville. And it's time to shower up and take a nap. So next time I'll see y'all see y'all on the ship. And then we'll see what else we can do. Sellaway party was hot, but uh, we all, we say goodbye to the uh, Carnival Freedom, which was in, they've been in Portland the last two days. Uh, but that ship always brings back some memories, some real good memories. That was actually the first ship that me and D went upon. So, but you know, it's just just brought back some really good memories. So that's when we got our start on the Carnival Freedom. But right now, I'm finna go back in this room, cool off a little bit. You know, I'm already sweating my good shirt out for today, but. You know, just kind of chill, relax, you know, and uh, and look, kind of look at the schedule, see what else I'm gonna get into for the day. The amount of talent that is on this ship is just insane. So I'm actually just getting back from um, center stage. And so we saw the Mardi Gras celebration. They had music, they had dancing, they had acrobatics, they had, you know, everything. Even, oh, even the the, um, the passengers that on the ship that won the Mr. and Mrs. Mardi Gras contest, they actually put them in the show. They gave them crowns, they gave them special seats. You know, and they had kind of had, you know, some, some, some royal wardrobe, you know, royal attire on too that they gave them too, which was actually pretty cool. Um, so we, we jammed out, we partied at that show, and then immediately after they had another show called The Voodoo Moon. And so The Voodoo Moon is actually kind of a dark show. So if you have like little ones that may be scared of the dark or spirits or ghouls or anything like that, um, they may not, you may not want to um, bring them to this show because that, that you're definitely going to see that. But just the level of talent again is it's crazy it is crazy i mean you let's be real you've been to some carnival shows and then you may go and you may hear the singing and you know you may hear maybe a crack note or somebody straining to kind of reach a note it's been none of that this cruise there is a mega deck party at 10 45 but i'm gonna do my best to get there and get some good footage for you guys because i mean since i've been mind blown by everything else on this ship i'm sure the mega deck party is something that i'm that you're not gonna wanna miss. So um, let me go get something to eat and I will see you guys on the Lido.
All right, guys, it's about time to wind it down. Met up with some members of the Melanin C group, and you know, we just kind of hung out, had a good time. We went to the casino, gambled a little more, and uh, you know, after that, we went to the nightclub and just kind of hung out. It was like a real chill kind of day, but we had a great time. Again, everybody's just a people person. Everybody's just so welcoming. I mean, it's like none of us are strangers to them. But uh, sh again, shout out to the members of the Trifecta, Ad and Terry, AKA Adventures, and uh, Rich and Jazzy Life. But uh, getting ready to call it a wrap for day six and see what tomorrow holds. Tomorrow is uh, the last sea day. And so I might finally just go get into the pool. I, I, it seems like I never get into the pool on cruise ships, but Definitely try to get in the pool tomorrow, maybe on you know, some water slides or something like that. But it's gonna be a fun day at sea, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you watching, so make sure you stay tuned to see what happens. We'll see you tomorrow.